الأحبة في الله رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم said Truly the amount of the rewards suits the degree of the bala trial So if you ever feel that your life is harder than the other know that your reward is not similar to their reward because it is already decreed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how big the reward will be for each of his servants. Therefore, the amount of the reward suits the degree of the bala. When Allah loves a people, He afflicts them with bala. He does not give them the rizq. Instead, He afflicts them with bala, trial. Whoever is content with the decree of Allah Azza wa Jal gains His pleasure. Allah will be pleased with him. And whoever is not content, not satisfied, whoever reject that degree, then for him is the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some ulama argue that it is obligatory to be content with Allah's decree. But most of the ulama said that being content with Allah's decree have a higher position than being patient. To be patient is to refrain from doing the things and uttering the words that will cause Allah's wrath. To be content is to feel in your heart that you accept the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when that person believes that behind every calamity there must be a hikmah, then his heart will be content about it. Let alone whatever afflicts him with this calamity is Rabbul Alameen, the Lord of the worlds. You know, when someone visited a physician, he must have picked the most seasoned one. The one with the most experience, he came to that physician and he was instructed to do certain things. That medicine tasted bitter. This tablet tastes awful. And he told me to do this and that. But he did them all anyway. If he was told to do chemotherapy due to cancer, he will do so. If he's told to seek the treatment in Singapore, he will do so. Why? Because he trusts his physician. Inshallah, he's an accomplished MD. What about Allah, Rabbul Alameen, who will not decree things except that he has full knowledge about them?